If this is the most familiar of sounds, these exhaust fumes are very familiar too. But could this all be about to change? Your works for a florist business delivering across London. Um, it's locally really. Uh, we've got most of the deliveries around uh, central London. But new London emission rules from today have meant that yours boss Carl has been forced to upgrade his fleet of 12 vans by spending £20,000 to meet new, tougher standards. Yeah, I think there should be some sort of grant or some staggered system so that either companies get a pay break um, or when it comes to larger fleets or in cases like us, if we have to renew, maybe there should be some sort of subsidy for not quite as old vehicles to get free checks, free upgrades or at least worked with us rather than against us. It's called the toxicity zone. The T charge covers the same area as the existing congestion charge zone, with drivers of older, more polluting vehicles paying an extra £10 on top of the existing £11.50. But London isn't alone. Birmingham, Leeds, Southampton, Derby and Nottingham are all considering imposing charges for some polluting diesel vehicles by 2020. And in Oxford, a ban has been proposed to stop all petrol and diesel cars from travelling in parts of the city from 2020. The London Mayor Sadiq Khan is behind the scheme, which he sees as a public health priority. Here in London, more than 9,000 people die prematurely because of the year. More than 9,000. Uh, there are children whose lungs are underdeveloped. There are adults who suffer consequences because of the uh, air from uh, asthma to dementia to stroke. This is part of a package of measures to clean up the air in uh, London. Protecting the most vulnerable from pollution has also inspired innovation. Yossi Romano's company have developed a device that protects babies from the dangers of air pollution. This cushion filters out harmful pollutants and the user can monitor how dirty the air is. I think that part of it is informing the people and when parents just learn about the problem it clicks in a second and they realize that they put their kids at risk they feed them organic food they filter the water that the children drink and they don't think about the air that the kids are breathing but now decision makers are putting clean air at the top of the agenda the mayor's office expect 34,000 vehicles a month to be affected by the new charge in their battle to clean the air we breathe Warren Nettleford 5 News.